So this is under the hood of the C5500 GMC. They have it idle. go over to the other side now I just have the plow frame cocked a little bit so I can't open the hood up all the way right now but I cannot It's idling very smoothly. Do a quick walk around here. Four wheel drive, of course. The dump body works fine. I'm told the sander working but I haven't tested that this box is pretty crusty but could be patched up I'm sure it had been in service right now the rear axle on this side I believe the spindle is bent is what I was told I've located another rear, whole rear axle. I've considered just going to the salvage yard where it's at and replacing, trying to replace it, but I'm not sure if I'll get to that project or not. But I do know the location of another rear, whole rear axle. You can see some, some more rust right in here on the body. Cab over here. That's cracked fiberglass up there. I'll show you that in more detail here, but pretty solid. Solid. Um, here's the fiberglass cracking on the fender kind of stitched together there. Good solid cab. Cab solid, the body. So much. Go all over here. Show you a couple of the blades. You got a wing blade and a pusher blade. If you use a wing, there. There you go. Otherwise, this will be the one you use the most. plastic or poly or whatever. Um, back to the truck. Right now the, I've got the plate over the 
the sander in the middle. you I'll just stick the phone underneath the crop. And I tried to show you all the frame, the motor, uh, what's left here. Sorry about that. We'll go over to the other side. been spray painted over where the other the town was that had the truck all right we're gonna shut the pump off right now I'll rev the motor just a little bit You can hear the motor is very, very good. Four-wheel drive controls, etc. All right, I'm going to snap that plow frame back up, and we can actually uh, just go for a quick drive around the yard. Okay, I'm in the truck now. Driving. Need to be a little careful because right now I don't have um, brakes. I haven't bled the brakes. I'm told that the brakes will work if I bleed them, but I have not done that yet. So you have the brake light on here. So the best I can do right now is to just kind of yard drive it. Making sure I can kind of coast to a stop. 
So it has a reverse alarm. Got plenty of traction despite the slushy conditions today. So anyway. Steers good, drives good. Let me know if you have any questions on it. Eighty-five thousand miles on it. And again, these are your controls. As seen from the driver's seat. 